me get this straight. A man can't text you guys, what are you doing? Because you got two, three thousand dollars worth of monthly bills. I don't think you're really out here looking for like a real man, like an alpha man, a king, somebody who can teach you, guide you, lead you, somebody that you can actually build a foundation with, you know, get some genuine chemistry going. Some y'all not looking for that. Y'all are out here looking for somebody to help you. I can honestly say, and this is where a lot of people get stuff confused. Yeah. It's a difference between, okay, yes, I can be a, a, a female, but that doesn't necessarily require or mean that I'm a woman. Okay. For for a, 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 a female to come out of her mouth and start asking a dude for money. Yeah, basically it's like, okay, yeah, you trying to take advantage. But also at the same time, then they get mad that men say, okay, yeah, she, she a gold digger. Yeah, you are. Because why are you asking him for anything? So now we go to the next video. Yeah, you go ahead. All right, man. So listen, <laughs> our next video. She says the new generation of women aren't looking for a partnership. They're looking uh -oh. for sponsorship. Here we go. Is she right or wrong? Here we go. Let, let's let Peanut take this off. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Mm -hmm. Aww. Let's go. Let me get this straight. A man can't text you guys, what are you doing? Because you got two, three thousand dollars worth of monthly bills. I don't think you're mm. really out here looking for like a real man, like an alpha man, a king, somebody who can teach you, guide you, lead you, somebody that you can actually build a foundation with, you know, get some genuine chemistry going. Some Y'all not looking for that. Y'all are out here looking for somebody to help you. Y'all are mm. out here looking for a sponsor, somebody yep. to sponsor yep. your lifestyle. Because I'm trying to understand when did it become a man's responsibility to even give you anything during the dating phase. Mm. A man is not responsible True. for your monthly bills in the dating phase. You're not his woman. And what True. makes you think that a man does not have his own bills, right. his own responsibility? Possibilities. Right. That is why a lot of you ladies cannot enjoy the dating phase because you are out here dating for all the wrong reasons. When you are dating somebody, it should really only be about just seeing if you and this person got a connection. Can we build together? Are we on the same page? Do we got the same beliefs, the same values? Something along those lines. But y'all get so frustrated. Well, he keep texting me what you doing and he ain't asking me how much is my rent and my colonel. That's not his problem. Let it rip, mama. A real man is not ready to lead with his money. Only an insecure <laughs> man lead with his money. There is some man that will give you money in the first couple of months, but that's a man that don't know himself a man that knows himself he's gonna find out a turn off that you're even asking him for right. money. allow that man to give you that good gesture a man that is genuinely interested in you he's gonna see any type mm -hmm. of weight that he can lift off of you so you wouldn't have to ask to begin with but if you ladies are out here drowning in your own monthly bills like that to the point where you frustrated and can't date somebody for the genuine reasons then you shouldn't be dating you need to go worry about your bills, get, get them situated, and then come back to the dating field mm. because your bills is nobody else's responsibility mm -hmm. but your own. As long as a man is respecting you, making time for you, and he's showing you that he is consistently interested, that is all you should be asking for in the dating phase. Right. Y'all yep. yep. gotta stop this. Y'all begging way too much. This is that's dry begging. That's what that is. <laughs> dry begging. Okay, okay, sis. Ooh, dry, you know, okay, I'm, sis. I'm let you kick this one. I, 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 I gotta pour my drink. I'm gonna I'm let you oh, start that one off right low, there. Low, yeah, low, man. Low, I'm, I'm let you start that one. Let me let me pour my motherfucking woofer. Oh, this camera right there. They ain't pour this right here. Go ahead. You don't need any more. Leave me Oops. alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't come between a man and his woofer. Okay. Whatever you said. Whatever you said. What do you think about that? Okay. First of all, this is on point. So I can honestly say, and this is where a lot of people get stuff confused. Yeah. It's a difference between, okay, yes, I can be a, a, a female, but that doesn't necessarily require or mean that I'm a woman. Okay. For for a, a a a female to come out of her mouth and start asking a dude for money, yeah, basically it's like okay, yeah, you trying to take advantage, but also at the same time, then they get mad that men say okay, yeah, she she a gold digger, yeah, you are because why are you asking him for anything? Mm -hmm. Your responsibilities are your responsibilities. Be mature enough to take care of your own stuff. Mm -hmm. That man didn't help you with those bills. He didn't he didn't help you create them bills. So therefore, be woman enough. Pay your own shit and leave him the hell alone. Because yes, granted, at the end of the day, men got a, got apartments, houses, mm -hmm. mortgages, rent, car notes, insurance, and all that other stuff too. So just because he's a male, and that's the problem now these days, women put too much pressure on men. Men are supposed to do this. Men are supposed to do that. Men are supposed to provide. Men are supposed to like, okay, give the man a break. Give him a break. You know what? You hit Like, how about be a support for him? How about, you know what? You know what, babe? I got you. How about I pay this for you this time? You know what? You you need some help? Come on. Yeah. I have always lived by the motto, 
is um I'm not paying your bills. Okay. Now I'll pay our bills. Right. But I'm not paying your bills. But she key word is you're dating. Oh, we just dating. You're dating no. together. They're no, not no, in a no. relationship. No, They're no, not no, in no commitment. No, no, no. So my thing is, you know what? Let the man show up and show you who the hell he is first before you start asking for stuff. Because at the end of the day, what, what, what a lot of these females don't realize, once you start asking these guys for stuff, you pushing him away. Oh, yeah. They lose you're respect. You pushing him away. They, they, they lose respect for you. Cause it's like, oh, okay, you know what? I I know what this chick want. You know what? You know what? I can give her this, and you know what? But at the end of the day, okay, you know what? That's where that's when it becomes transactional. Because now here it is. Okay, I'm giving her money. So what you want to give me? What, what you what you gonna do for me? Exactly. And again, there is no respect. You're not going to have no say within, I guess, your relationship with that. If, if that's what what you want to call it. Shit. And then the men, the men who actually do that. Oh, the simping. The simpers, the simpers, <laughs> it, they make it bad for all of us. Now, granted, I'm I'm not young. Well, I mean, just you know like I mean? the but, women make it bad. So let's just say, okay, yeah. out of 10 women, probably eight women is asking dudes for money in these quote unquote situations. And, and you, you get the small percentage out of, three of, of those women. Men, they're, paying, they're paying it. Right. But then you get the small percentage of women. Let's just say two out of 10. And I'm part of that 2%. Well, 20% or whatever. So now I approach a guy or meet a guy and he's automatically assuming that I'm that tight. No, I don't want nothing from you. I can provide for me and my own. Yeah. Listen, a real man will find that that uh, 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 attractive. If a woman can provide on her own. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yo, that's such a turn on for me. Now, that makes me want to do things for you. And because I want like my girl. Are. Yeah, I, I want to make sure my girl. Because then it's good. like, okay, damn. You know what? I see. You, I really see you. I see that you 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 trying to do your thing. Like, how yeah. can I help you? Yeah, I see you, boo. <laughs> yeah, you doing your thug fizzle, <laughs> man? Let me tell you something. Well, that's such a turn on. Look, you young guys, man. I'm 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 gonna tell you what 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 a man likes. Real you man. meet a girl, a romance. You meet a girl who got her own place, doing her own thing, got her own job, her own car, her own money. Sometimes you, you got to, you know, you know I, I, I feel like I want to take a vacation. So you just want to go over her crib and chill. Get away from your crib. Mm -hmm. Go to her crib and chill. Ain't no thing. What's up, baby? You, you put some, you some gas on you. Put some gas in your car. Give me your car keys. I'll fill it up for you. I got you right, right here. Right. I got you right here. Right. Let's go get something to eat. Don't worry about that. I got that bill. Don't even worry about it. Right. You know what I mean? It's just the, the knowing that I can get away. Right. I can go. I can go to my lady crib. Turn my phone off. I ain't got to worry about my job and calling me. I ain't got to worry about my crib. homies just calling me. Just actually being having somebody that can actually support you. So, yo, support and, you physically, financially, if need be. If need, yo, I lose my job. Oh hell Come yeah! Come on, yeah. Especially when you're in a relationship, because it's like, okay, why does the man have to always be the one that that holds down everything? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Boy, I'll be like, what's up, baby? Come on, let me rub your feet. I got you right here. <laughs> you see, let me tell you some of you young guys out there, man. You, if you don't know how to rub feet, man, you got to take your fingers out going between the toes. <laughs> Boy, they lose their motherfucking mind. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. You ever had your feet rub? Is that it again? You ever had your feet rub? Yes. Did, did he get in between the toes? So, let me, let, let me just say this. <laughs> here it is. Let's go. <laughs> and this is not to put my business Let's out there. Let's okay. go. Put it out there, God damn it. I am, I'm, I am sensitive to certain parts of my body. And, and I'm going to just leave it at that. Look, let me tell you something. <laughs> in the chat like this. Um, what part you say again? <laughs> I'm not saying no parts. I just said certain. <laughs> hey, hey, like I'm that. I'm hey, very yeah. smart. Yeah, I think she said the feet. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, they gonna be Love. they gonna be at this joint studio sitting out there waiting for T to come out. Boy. Look, y'all can wait. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a nice little wig on. You won't even know it's me. Oh, they gonna they gonna have they gonna have that lotion and everything ready, boy. That's all that this joint podcast. Man. Oh my gosh! Drop a comment, leave a like, and tell us what you think.